Yeah, this is quest answer to question 1.1.3. Uh, we have root x squared minus 5 equals to 2 multiplied by root x. You square both sides. So you have this to obtain all squared equals to 2 root x all squared. So according to the law, Of sum, when you have root m all squared, it becomes root m times root m to give you m. So the same applied to root x squared minus 5 to become the root x squared minus 5. Multiply again root x squared minus 5 to give you x squared minus 5. The same thing goes to 2 root x all squared. To give you 2 root x multiplied by 2 root x, you collect like terms to give you 2 times 2 times root x times root x and this gives you 4x. So let's move on to the next slide. So from here you have x squared minus 5 all squared equals 2 root x all squared to give you x squared minus 5 equals 4x so you will write the equation to form a quadratic equation so this gives you x squared minus 5 minus 4x equals to 0, which is the same thing as x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals to 0. So you factorize the equation. So you get the factors, and this will give you x squared minus 5x plus x minus 5 equals 0. So you have x into x minus 5. The coefficient of x here is 1, so plus 1 to give you x minus 5 equals 0. What is on the left must be the same as what is on the right. If it's the same, you pick 1 to give you x minus 5 and x plus 1 equals 0. By this, we are only halfway gone. So, x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals to 0. So this will give you x equals to 0 plus 5 or x equals to 0 minus 1. So at the end of the day, you have x equals to 5 or minus 1.